Hello guys. In this video, I will show you how you can override a widget in POS. So for this example, I am going to show you the serial number widget. So when you select a product with uh, serial numbers, this widget comes up to write in the serial number. So what I am going to do is that I am just going to show an alert uh, just to show the workflow when you click the OK button. So for before that we have to write the javascript file for that so this i just wrote a simple javascript file for this called widget override and we also have to specify it in the source sources of the assets so in point of sale there is a template called assets to which all the scripts are loaded like this so we can we have to inherit this template and we have to add our own JS file to it first so I will show you that so we will take this this is actually inside the point of sale app views inside point of sale so let's inherit and inherit and add the source into it first so for that we will select the name we will search for point of save dot assets as you can see it is inherited many times so we will just take any one of them and we paste it here and inside that we will write our own file there so our file is widget override dot js so we will copy the path and give it as the source here. We'll just remove that. Okay. So now we have given the source. We'll just pause that one. So this is where we will override that widget. So first of all, we have to find the widget. For this lot and serial number for that we have to inf uh, inspect the element so we'll do that as you can see there is a title there so we will search with this title inside the js files so You can see it is used here. So as you can see, this dot gui dot show pop-up backlog line. So this is the pop-up. Now we will search this pop-up. We can see the first result, which is in the point of sales. So it is as you can see it is defined in the popups.js file. So let's open that. Okay, so this is the place where it is the pop-up is defined. So next to that you can see the widget which is pack lot line pop-up widget. So what we are going to do is that we will we, we are going to uh, override this function, override this widget. So these are the functions in that widget so we will just focus on the click confirm function we will just add the alert to that function so for that we will just copy the widget with the template into our custom thing now we will just remove all the other functions we don't want we only want to do the change in the click confirm function so which is basically the function here so we will remove the rest of them
also this is also necessary this defining part we'll take that one too we'll just paste it here okay so this is the click confirm function so what we want to do now is that here you can see this uses this is extended by pop-up widget so in our case we are extending it from an already existing uh, js file so what we, what we are going to do is that we will define those files first so we will give variable pos pop pups equal to require and now we will uh, show this js file so this is the popups.js and it is inside the point of sale app so we will source it there like the name of that point of sale dot popups similarly as you can see you define the popup using this gui so we also define that this popup gui equal to require point of sale so as you can see here the gui was inherited for this so we will just take that one okay a file we will we have done that into a variable so we will just use that variable to extend that's it we will just add our custom code here we just want to show an alert so we will give an alert widget overridden successfully So this is the custom code. We just add a one more line to this code. That's all we did. So we will close that. Now let us try to install this application. Okay, now when you go to the point of sale, you select a product with traceability and then you click OK. Okay, as you can see, you, you are not able to see the pop up, so there is some problem with our code. Let us check that. Okay, okay so as you can see here I did not put the quotations so let us put that okay now let us try that again let us refresh the viewers now let us select a product with the serial number so as you can see now when we click on the ok the pop-up or the alert showing the message we return this is the custom message we return there so this is how you override a POS widget so other thing uh, with this is that you don't have other the other functions are not affected by this only the function we change is affected so the rest of the functions work normally 
so in the next video i will show you with an example with a detailed example if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com